The dog you're looking at now is Sassy. Sassy is a spayed female beagle. She's six years old. Loves to cuddle, very friendly, very outgoing. Loves everybody. Seems to like other dogs as well. She's very vocal. If she wants something and she doesn't get it, she lets you know she yowls. She's a lap dog and gives lots of kisses. She is playful and wonderful and lovely and loving and everything you could possibly want in a dog. Plus, in addition to that, she has that absolutely beautiful beagle face and a happy tail that never, never, never stops wagging. You're looking at Sassy, and Sassy is a lover. This handsome fellow is Bastian. Bastian is a pug, a neutered male. He's about 10 years old. He's very much a lap dog, loves to sit on laps, be a great member of any family. Best fits in with a family with no kids or other pets. He doesn't want to share his attention with anybody. He just wants to be the superstar. And he is. Loves to sleep in bed with you or at your side. And what he loves more than anything else is snuggles and loving. Look at this happy, happy boy with his curly tail and his pushed in nose and a big smile on his face for anybody who will scratch his butt. His name is Bastion. Crane is a nine and a half year old Amstaff boxer mix. Uh, she is very bright and very, very well trained. She knows lots of commands. She knows sit, stay, come, paw, down, speak, and go outside for a walk. Loves to play with plush toys, loves to chase tennis balls. She'll play fetch for as long as you'll throw a ball for her. And then her big thing and her best trick She'll roll over on her back so that you can give her belly rubs. And she'll grunt with joy while you rub her. And once you've given her one belly rub, you are her friend for life. This is a tank. She's a big, solid, low-slung dog. But you can tell, loving, a <laughs> little bit food-motivated, and very, very sweet. we got to see the other end of her, though. The tail is not the pretty part. There, look at that beautiful face. Hello, darling girl. Hello, would you turn, sweetheart? Would you turn toward the camera, please? We can't get it. There she goes. Now you can see just how lovely Crane really is. She really needs some people to love. She is full of love to share. This darling little guy is Mr. Pinky. He is a Chihuahua. He is five years old. Um, we don't know a whole lot about him. But we know that he's incredibly, incredibly loving. Likes to roll on his back and get belly rubs. His tongue hangs out. And when you stop rubbing it, he gets up and sits on your lap and gives all kinds of kisses. Very cute, funny little dog. Very lovable. Very happy. And really a dog that wants people. Uh, he is not as shy as we see lots of chihuahuas. As a matter of fact, he seems to be very outgoing. And he has wonderful ears. He is just as cute as a little dog could be. He's bouncy, he's cheerful, he's happy, and he's darling. Yeah, yeah, sure. Stand up and smile for the camera, Mr. Pinky. Get those ears. Can we get the ears? There we go. Wonderful ears that he has. This is Mr. Pinky. Now you're looking at Dandelion. She is an eight-year-old Pekingese. She is partially blind, so she needs to be watched carefully. She likes to be picked up. You can brush her anywhere. She loves to be brushed. Um, she's not fond of toys. I don't think she's ever had any experience with toys. But she is a very, very sweet, very loving dog. Again, because of the vision problem, she needs to be leash walked. This is not a dog that you can just turn out because... As you just saw there, she'll miss a step because she doesn't see real well. And that may get worse, and it may not. But what we do know about her is that she is sweet and she is loving. And she finds her way around very, very well. Um, just a darling little dandelion of a dog and looking for a forever home. The dog you're looking at now is Baron. And Baron is a little wild man. He is a lab mix. He's nine months old. <laughs> which means he's not going to be real big. But he is full of energy. And remember, he's been in a cage. This is his chance to get out and work off just a little bit of that energy. Um, 
pulls on the leash and runs around a lot, but he is just a baby and he needs to be taught. Likes to play with toys on his own terms, which means he'll take them and run away and hide. Uh, high energy, but then again, he's a puppy. So if you're looking for a baby to take home and raise and train, he is right now at the height of the hardest time to deal with a dog. He is a puppy. He is teething. He will chew on your furniture if you don't watch him and give him things to chew on that are appropriate. And he needs to learn all about leashes and house training and walking and all the other wonderful things that you teach a puppy to do. But if you have the time and the energy, and boy, he takes a lot of that. To raise a puppy, Barrett is absolutely adorable and incredibly sweet. And he's looking for a forever home with a firm, loving, patient person who will teach him to be a good canine citizen. Because he's so sweet and he really, really, really wants to please. His name is Baron. This beautiful girl is Petra. She is a six and a half year old, spayed female, Manchester Terrier mix. Very, very sweet dog. Um, before she came to Save a Pet, she had spent her entire life in a cage in a shelter. She needs a lot of patience because she knows nothing. As the saying goes, you have to teach this old dog every trick. On the other hand, she wants to learn. Training is definitely a, a necessity with her. Um, She's a little bit frightened when she first sees you, but she warms up very, very rapidly. She is food motivated. She needs a training class. She needs socialization. She needs to learn all about the world outside of the cage in which she spent her first six years. But she's beautiful and she's sweet and she's loving and she's calm and she wants to learn. And she wants somebody who will take her home and she wants to please that special someone. She's checking out the world. She doesn't know what's safe and what's not safe. And if you take her home, you will become her safety. You will hold her paw and chase away the ghoulies and teach her to be a loving dog. And she will learn and she will be wonderful. Her name is Petra and she is as sweet a dog as you'd ever want to be around. This is the last dog we're going to show you today and he is our special needs dog. For the same reason that many of the dogs that we show you as special needs dogs have that problem, he is heartworm positive. That could have been avoided with a heartworm preventative, and it wasn't. So now he's being treated for heartworm. He needs to be kept calm and quiet while the treatment progresses. Now, Pongo is a little bit shy. He is a dog that really wants loving and petting. He's only three years old. He is tentative because he doesn't know what to expect. This is a guy, again, who needs socialization. He needs to learn that people are good and won't hurt him. He needs to know that houses are for living in and families are for being a part of. He wants very much to love and be loved, and he's afraid to. He's never had that opportunity, and he needs it desperately. This is a dog in progress. He has a period while he's having his heartworm treatment, which the shelter underwrites, by the way. He has a period while he's having his heartworm treatment where he has to be kept calm. And that's a wonderful quiet time to bond with him so that by the time the heartworm is gone, he is more secure in knowing that you are his special person. That's what Pongo wants. He wants special people and he really wants to stop being afraid and learn how to love. He's a beautiful dog with a beautiful soul and he needs a magic person to unlock all the love inside of him. His name is Pongo.